We begin with a creamy lobster bisque served with chunks of lobster meat over a black truffle royale. The royale is essentially an egg custard combined with truffle juice and truffle oil, traditionally baked in a bain marie. The bisque begins with pan and oven roasted lobster heads, which are then combined with a classic mirepoix, chicken stock and heavy cream, then slowly cooked to perfection. So what, I guess we get started. Okay, so you okay. teach me, I'm, I'm okay. going to help you, of course. So we're going to okay. we're gonna bring the heavy cream to okay. a boil. Cream. Yeah, we have the black truffle juice, which has been reduced in okay. half already. Okay, and we're going to add that to the cream, yeah? Yeah. So Royal, I think we need eggs too, don't we? Eggs, yes, yes. So the recipe, of course, is going to tell you how many eggs okay. we have here. So the whole eggs. Whole eggs, yeah. whole eggs. So we're going to bring the Royal base to boil. Okay. Once it's boiling, we season it to taste. Okay. Take it off the fire, off the heat. Yes. Add the egg yolks, egg, the whole egg, the sorry. Whole eggs. Salt, pepper, I should imagine, yeah? Salt, pepper, tiny bit of black truffle oil, and a hint of cayenne pepper. And actually, what is a royal? Royal is basically, it's a custard, obviously with the, with the liquid, the cream, the truffle, and the eggs. Yep. It's a savory custard. Yeah, we have the cooked lobsters, which cooked up approximately seven minutes in boiling water. This is my technique for the lobster. I always just pull right. this off here. Yeah. Then I take this here, I just pull it out, like so. And then with the back of the knife, and here we go, this beautiful lobster claw, which comes out nice and easily. Look how beautiful that looks. So heavy cream is boiling here, let's get in front of here. It doesn't need, I add the eggs now, I steer them in. Okay. So you put pour in approximately one to one quarter ounce. Okay. And of course, uh, you can use uh, soup cups, you could use a soup plate to do the same thing. So you have your glass containers there in a bain-marie. So bain-marie in French, a water bath. And how about the soup then, Tom, Thomas? I have okay. a hot pot here already. Okay. Pour in the olive oil. Extra virgin olive oil. Yeah. Extra virgin olive oil, cold pressed. The other lobster heads. Okay. Yeah. That's beautiful. Wow, I help you with that. Yeah, thank you. You can see how fresh that lobster was, just by that yeah. beautiful color. So you're gonna turn them over and stick them in the oven at 450 Fahrenheit. Okay. After they're roasted, um, after they're roasted, we're gonna add some vegetables, is that right? Yes, uh, so the French term for vegetable, roasting vegetables, mirepoix. Mirepoix. So we have carrots, onions, celery, leeks. Leeks okay. I could separate because leeks, you, uh, you if you it put it, uh, it, it burns very easily. So leeks always goes towards the end. Yeah. Here we've got these beautiful lobster heads which have been roasted in the oven. And you've added the mirepoix. So yeah? We added the mirepoix already here. It's nicely roasted also. Okay. So what we do now, um, I, I add uh, the leeks. No? Tomato paste leeks at the okay. same time. Great. Stir it through. Okay. Keep it for half a minute like this. Then yeah. we're gonna deglaze it with the white wine. White wine. So and that's and of course deglazing uh, with white wine all it for what acidity you wanna give to the, to to the, the sauce or the to bisque. The yeah. That's very important. So now we have the chicken stack. Put okay. the chicken stack on top. It's a heavy cream. And how long are we going to let that cook for, Thomas? Uh, we're going to bring it to a boil and yeah. afterwards for approximately on low heat for an hour and a half. Yeah. yeah. So, we can, so we can take advantage of getting all those flavors yeah. out slowly. Yeah. It, it needs a time. That's right. Uh, let's bring it over here. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Very hot. Looks now you see uh, the center doesn't move anymore like this. It's that's good. good. That's yeah. good. And the aroma there is amazing, the aroma of that, that black truffle. Yeah. Delicious. Uh, what we do here now to finish up the garnish, I let it sit for one minute, but uh, we're gonna take one truffle here. Okay. Wanna slice it for me quickly? For sure. Slice it, chill in it, whatever, however you like it, Ashley. Okay. There we go. Looks uh, good. So what we're gonna do now, 
We put a little bit of the lobster meat in the center, okay. so on top of the royal. And you can a little bit divide of, the truffle in a four. How oh, it's being presented here. It's, once I have this, I would stick it back in the, into the oven for another to warm the lobster meat. Okay. For approximately two minutes. Okay. Helps so the with, uh, with the lobster bisque. What I do, I use a hand blender, make it very smooth, and I'm gonna look that I get some bubbles all on. What Thomas is really doing is making it like smooth a, and aerated. And like sub your like, yeah. so you, you don't really get too much of it. So for sure, when you take off that lid, you're getting that beautiful, yep. the sweet nice smell of the lobster of the and the, flavor, and the, yeah. the, the, the truffle on it. The truffle. So, uh, you wanna taste it? Can you let me? Try? I'm not gonna. I'm gonna try this one. I don't wanna spoil your presentation. Mmm. Oh my gosh, that is so good. Thank you.